All right, let's continue. So in the meantime, I have uh, done a little bit of training and also I freed Raku. He grew to level 46. He gained a lot of experience um, because his purification process took quite a while. And um, yeah, now I want to go to Mount Battle and do some battles here. And um, yeah, I think the first battles will be quite easy. So let's see. Thank you for waiting. Training will resume on Mount Battle. Challenge. Would you like to start a new challenge or would you like to resume an ongoing one? New challenge. So how Mount Battle works is we have a hundred trainers in front of us. After each, I think, ninth trainer, the tenth one is like something something you could compare to a gym leader. So like a checkpoint basically, and after that you could heal. Um, and they all, I think now it goes from 15 to 20, then the next 10 trainers go from 20 to 25, and so on and so forth. So every 10 trainers have a level range of 5. So they get progressively stronger. And that's why this right now is not really that big of a deal. I can just use double attacks and I should kill them both. Because they're quite, quite, quite weak. The good thing is that after every checkpoint, so after every 10th trainer, we get um, a reward. And the reward is... I think it, it's called battle points or something. And we can buy cool stuff with that, like TMs and something like that. I think there's more. I don't know exactly what it was, but we can buy stuff. So these trainers are really not that big of a deal. They can't do much. Yeah, 15. But I think we will not get healed after every battle. I mean, we could check right now if our PP got restored. We didn't lose health, so I can't tell by that, but... Oh, apparently we get a full heal after every battle. I don't remember it being that way. But that is actually useful because that saves us going back and forth to heal in the later battles because they will become quite challenging. But yeah, as you can tell, we don't get that much experience here because the Pokemon are so low and also not very uh, high evolutions just because there is such a low level. Sending in the Pokemon almost takes longer than... I don't know why I used Light Screen there, that was dumb. I think I just used Rain Dance and Light Screen. Because I was just mashing A. Yeah. I should switch my attacks to have Razor Leaf and Surf in the first slots. Save some menuing. Do that here? No, I can't. Let me see if I can do that during the battle. No, I'll do that before the next battle then.
So let's see. Um, also did some shopping. I uh, stocked up on our. Oh, there he goes. Um, so surf. Let's do it that way. see raise a leaf on one spark on one quick attack okay Should be good. So yeah, as I just said, I stocked up on uh, healing items because during the process of purifying Raku, I did so many battles that I gained a lot of money. So I stocked up on potions and revives and all that stuff. Did buy new Pokeballs though, I still have to do that. I mean, I have some left, but we'll see. Before I go to Lager Tower, or whatever that tower is called, I think in German it was Lager Tower, um, I might need some Pokeballs. Might buy some new Pokeballs. Because I assume we will meet a lot of Shadow Pokemon there. It would surprise me if, you, if we would meet Shadow Pokemon here in Mount Battle. I don't think we will. If even, then I would say the... Uh, the 10th trainer have Shadow Pokemon, but not the normal trainers. But I doubt it. So maybe they both reach level 44 within the next battles. Try to run away. Meganium might actually reach it. Not sure about Sukyun. But yeah, the further we progress here. The, uh, the more experience we gain, because of course the Pokémon will get stronger. I'm not sure if we can make it to the top already, because if I remember correctly, the last trainer would be on like level 60 plus. too complicated for me <laughs> but he's strong he is at least level 60 i'm pretty sure about that also there can't be any shadow pokemon here now that i think about it because we don't have our girl with us so even if we encounter shadow pokemon we can't detect it
I wonder if that still triggers. I mean, the Surf will not kill it because it used Endure. I wonder if the Razor Leaf does it. Not sure if Endure saves it from one KO attack or from, from one KO or if it makes it survive the round no matter what. We'll see. Yeah, okay, it makes it survive the round. It can die that round, no matter what. That's interesting. It worked twice in a row. That's very unusual. <laughs> Attacks like Endure, Protect, all that stuff. Um, usually only work in one round, and then they fail. I mean, they have a potential to actually work, but they're more likely to fail if used in uh, consecutive order. be there. Okay, Water Absorb is fine. We still have Razor Leaf, and that should hit, actually. Yeah. So that's Swooper down. And that should give Meganium a level up. Yeah, just barely. Also, I don't know if I mentioned that, but Meganium learned uh, uh, Light Screen, and I taught that over Sunny Day. So, last two battles of this phase. Duskull and Ralts. And then we have the first battle of uh, this area and uh, not the first the last sorry the last battle of this area before we reach the checkpoint and I assume the last trainer has a little bit more than two Pokemon I assume he has four or five. Suikyun might reach level 44 in the next battle. If he has more than two Pokemon, that is. I don't think two will be... will make it... will be enough. Unless he has high evolved Pokemon, then it might, but I don't think so, given the level. So this is the guy we uh, saved from Dakim, so he knows us. Okay, no high evolved Pokemon. So I assume he has just more Pokemon than two. Yeah, five. With a bit of luck, that could be two attacks, four Pokemon down. Curse Surf will hit both of these and kill them both off. He sh will send in two new, and then Meganium will use Razor Leaf. And that might already finish the other two.
Skitty and... Okay, avoid it. That's fine. And Jigglypuff. Yeah, nice and easy. Fantastic. Yeah, that was quick work. Okay, we gained Poker Coupons. It's not Battle Points, it's Poker Coupons. Um, you? You have cleared Area 1. Congratulations, here are your Poker Coupons for surviving the Knockout Challenge. 100. Advance. So we could save here, but I don't think we need that right now. So these should go from 20 to 25. Yeah. So you see, they get stronger and stronger. The level range is always going up by 5 for each area that we clear. So by the end of this area, we will face Pokemon level 25. There's still no real match for us. And they should go all down to one Surf and Razor Leaf combination. Which is quite convenient because Meganium and Suicune are actually the Pokemon that are the lowest level. And especially Meganium, I want to level up a bit because I need a strong special defense or like I need a strong tank no matter what. Um, and Meganium will do quite well in combination with Flygon because Meganium is pretty much my only Pokemon who can tank um, an Earthquake without taking too much damage. I mean, both Entei and Raikou will take super effective damage from it. Um, I think even Espeon will take a lot of damage because it's not very strong in physical defense. Um, Suicune might, but it's not even super effective. Or it's, it's actually resisting um, for Meganium, so it's, it's fine. The best would of course be if I had flying type Pokemon I could use that on, but I don't. So I have to make the best of it and use Meganium. Also a good combination would just be to use Earthquake with Flygon and Synthesis with Meganium. Flygon is faster than Meganium, so it will always go first. Use Earthquake, damage all Pokémon, and Meganium will use Synthesis and heal up. It might be enough to do that every second round, because um, Earthquake will not deal 50% of Meganium's health. Oh, it survived that, interesting.
I'm not very interested in training, he said. That's the best attitude for being a Pokemon trainer. the razor leaf will hit the low tad. Should be enough. Yeah. You really are not strong. Halfway through this area. But I was serious. You could tell. I'm actually surprised that that didn't kill, even though, um... I mean, it, it was only... It, it was resisting, but I thought my special attack would be good enough to actually still kill it. We're still double its level. It's an, um... Well, basically it's an evolution Pokémon, but... I would like to call it a basic Pokémon, even though it has a pre-evolution. But we are still legendary Pokémon, with higher stats. But it doesn't matter, that's what Meganium is there for. Good. Oof. Alright, 
three more battles. Oh, he has three Pokemon? I hope that finishes it. Yeah. Vona. The serve might not kill. No. Okay, Carvania is down though. I assume Sfeel has just too high special defense. Surf should kill them both. I'm afraid he might send in two new bug types then. And uh, Razor Leaf might not do a good job there, but I don't care. It's fine. Maybe he doesn't send in new bug types, we'll see. Wow, it survived that. Interesting. Not sure why, but... Okay, Razor Leaf might... It will kill Eddie Bar. I'm not sure about Surf's Kid, though. Ah. Okay. But Surf's Kid will not attack. Should finish. Yeah. Because it's ground type. Mm, this might not kill. Okay, it does. Good. Area two down. All right. 
Alrighty, new coupons. I think uh, we can only exchange them in the main room at the start. Also, I don't think we can get anything for um, 300, but... So almost level 45 for Meganium. This battle should actually bring it to 45. Yeah, they start using evolved Pokemon now, Silcoon. Yeah, there we go. 45. And Cascoon. The Razor Leaf might not kill that. Okay, never mind. It surprised me, but. Not too shabby. Well, of course not. I think Surf will kill, but Razor Leaf might do that. Okay, it does kill. At least one of them. I thought their special defense would be too good. Does she have one more? Bodybuilder Eisen. That's a good matchup. Surf will hit them both. And finish them both. Also, we gain a lot more experience right now. It's actually worth it. It's easy fights, and the experience really adds up. Almost 45 for Suikyun. Next battle, it will reach 45.
I'm actually not sure if a non-critical would have killed that. So good thing there was a critical. 45. Onish and Gulpin, okay. I will do something slightly different here. I will use a Surf, but a Body Slam on Onish. And Razor Leaf wouldn't kill that. I expected that to not deal as much damage. But the Body Slam should kill it. I would be very surprised if not. Private lesson? <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. They will die anyway from the surf, so it doesn't really matter what Meganium does. Rock type and fire type. They don't stand any chance. Willpower. No, actually just strong attacks. Has nothing to do with willpower. Last three battles of this area. I'm actually still surprised that I get full heals after every battle here. I remember that not being the case. But um, currently 
I pictured that wrong. You do the mobile. Okay, the mobile actually surprises me a bit. I think that's the first time we see that. Um, so Razor Leaf will not do a good job there. And I'm not sure if Surf will kill it. But Body Slam will not do a good job either, so. Ha, screw it. Let's go for Razor Leaf. It might still be a critical, after all. Okay, never mind. see what she has to offer. Star you, that's the first two. And horsey. Well we've seen that before. Um uh, yeah let's go horse surf anyway, it doesn't matter. Razor Leaf will finish them off if they survive it. Okay, let's hope she sends in another water type, because that might already go down to the Razor Leaf. Sweet. Leaf. That's magnificent, it is. <clears throat> so we will get 300 now, I think. Making it a total of 600 then. Oh, 400 already. So we have 700. Oh, looking a little bit different here.
everything is kind of fiery and volcanic. Also, think, I think also I think we have a new battle music, right? I mean, we've heard it before, but I, I mean, just up until this point, every battle music was different on Mount Battle. Curtain. My record's been blashed. Let's switch out Meganium to Entei, so Entei gets some levels too, because he's quite low. 43, we have to change that. Aurora beam actually because that would be a safe kill I'm still surprised that we managed to catch all three legendary dogs. Because I remember when I first played this game, I had a lot of issues uh, fighting them, actually. I mean, fighting the the Cypher admins, first of all, and then catching their Shadow Pokemon. But this time it was actually quite easy. And I think for at least two of the battles, I was quite underleveled. Um, surf, stomp. Okay, surf would finish it up though. Almost level up for Entei. Oh, 
Always press B there. Level 23? Um, why are they so low? Is that a programming error? That's interesting. Or does he have more Pokemon? I just didn't pay attention. He does not. Why are they so low? Is that a programming error? Like, there's a typo in the levels? Because that wouldn't make any sense. He's like 10 levels short for this area. Interesting. I mean, that was pretty much a free win, if you could call it that way, because basically every battle here is a free win. Shroomish? Okay. I don't want to touch Shroomish, so I will go for Aurora Beam on Shroomish and Fire Blast on Cacnea. Almost level up for Suicune. I don't have to worry about new attacks for them because the next attack they will learn is on 51. I checked that. So they learn every every 10 level they they learn a new move. 11, 21, 31, 41, 51, and so on and so forth. Okay, a Surf will not kill Grimer, so I'll use a Stomp on it as well. Okay. The Silk Scarf is really, really strong. I mean, Stomp is already a strong move, I would say. But with the Silk Scarf, it gets even better. And Entei is a physical attacker, so... It's perfect. And it makes people, uh, Pokemon flinch, so... It's perfect. Almost done with this area too. I'm surprised I didn't die. I could have used some Fire Blast, but I actually thought that a Storm would be enough.
Oh wow, Fe four Pokemon. Already. Um. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Those free heals are actually pretty good because that makes sure that we can use Surf every battle. Otherwise we would have run out of PP by now. Critical, nice. Wrecked. Two more battles in this area. Nera. Surf and Stomp on Bagan. Good. Area leader? Didn't read the name. Who is that? Trench. Okay. Area leader Trench. So hit me, Trench. Nose pass and Lily. Sweet. Nose pass will go down from a surf. Lily might not. So I'll use. Um, no stop because it's rock type. Surf. Uh, and we could use Blizzard, but I'm actually worried that it misses. So let's use a Bite on Lily. Maybe that's enough. I think it's Rock and Grass type. So a Surf will do neutral damage. Fire Blast would have also been neutral. Oh wow. Tanky guy. Doesn't matter though. Tanky. They will go down to a surf. No poison. I don't think Ace can actually poison, just lowers my defense. Surf. And another bite, and it should actually be down. Yeah. Rip the deep. So send in another rock type, please, or ground type. So sort of can do uh, its work. Sweet. It will be both Fanpy and Rhyhorn down. It would surprise me if Fanpy survives that. Rhyhorn is down either way. Quadruple damage, so no chance there. Rip. Barboach. Alright, Aurora Beam and Stomp. Good. I 
think we're gonna do until 50. Yeah, let's do one more area. How many do we get? 600. That makes it 1.3k, I think. Let me, let me save real quick. Chinchu might have water absorb, so let's go for a stomp on that one. It won't be super effective either, so you will resist it. Okay, it, if Surf hits it, it's dead. I'm not sure if Chinchu can actually have water absorb. I think the lantern that we saw on Professor Aim only had vault absorb. But you never know. Now the a little bit more interesting Pokemon come on the field. 36 Delcati can actually be a little bit annoying. But also gives a lot more experience. Vigoroth. Okay, that is also not underestimated. Oh no, Dizzy Punch. Yeah, Confusion. That's fine though. Let's hope for the best. Attack. Okay, flinch though. Not an Entei, please don't an Entei. I hate you. Okay, it didn't confuse us though. Let's finish off Spinda first, so no more dizzy punches. If I can avoid that, that would be sweet. Come on, Suikyun. Come on. I have been very unlucky with confusions in this playthrough. I rarely remember any attacks going through a confusion. I mostly hurt myself. Five times. Let's try to make him flinch again. Okay, or that. Level 
have a look. That banner was actually a little bit more annoying. Mostly because of the confusion. Surf. No, actually, let's not surf. Aurora Beam on Nocturne. Fire Blast on the Noon. Because I don't think Surf would have killed either one of those. I think the battle time of just using. Surf to kill off both Pokemon is long over. It has ended, so now we have to fight with a little bit more tactic to take out Pokemon effectively. Good. Also, I will recapture it real quick after this fight. Thinking about switching out Entei for um, Espeon, actually. Or Suicune. Because Suicune is almost. Yeah, let's switch out Suicune as soon as it reaches 47. So after this battle. Um, Aurora Beam on Nosleaf and Bite on Sableye. Was that? Fake out, oh crap. Oh, there was two fake outs, right? So I'm not gonna attack. Yeah, flinch and flinch. But that's fine. Do the same thing then. Did I just use Aurora Beam on Sableye? I think I did. Doesn't matter though. If he has one more Pokemon, Aurora Beam would hit that. If not, it just hits. Okay, it hits the other one. Rip Nuss Leaf. Yeah, so Suikyun gains some levels, let's switch it out for Espion. Because I'd like to have Espion learn Psychic soon. I'm not sure when it learns that. But it will learn that, I'm, I know that. Okay. Fire Blast on Mobile. And a Psy Beam on Corsola. Because Mobile is Steel type. So Psy Beam wouldn't do anything there. I mean, it would deal a little bit of damage, but not enough. This should kill it. Which is good, because I'm actually scared of a crunch. I'd like to avoid that. Rivala. Hey, worse. Ouch. 
Um, let me think about this. Hmm... I think I want to... Psybeam Graveler and Stomp on Corsola. Ah oh, no, no no no, ah oh, that was dumb. I hope it dies. I should have used Bite on Corsola. Because Stomp is normal type and Corsola is rock type. Yeah, I have changed quite a bit. Um I'm not sure what the, what the team setup was, but I switched on a lot of Pokemon. The only one I would like to use is actually Altaria, because it's flying type. And the combination with Flygon would be very strong, because Flygon knows Earthquake. And Earthquake would hit my second team Pokemon too, but if that was a flying type, I wouldn't have any uh, problem with that, because it wouldn't hit that. So now if I use Flygon with Earthquake, I have to use Meganium as my second Pokemon to tank it. And the Earthquake from Flygon actually hurts quite a lot, but for Meganium it's not that bad, so it's fine. Um, Meganium resists it, also it's... Uh, it, it knows um, Synthesis, so if, if even I could just use Synthesis every turn when I use Earthquake with Flygon to just heal the damage away instantly. Because Flygon always goes first. So Meganium will take Flygon's Earthquake damage and then heal up in the same turn. Earthquake is crazy. It deals so much damage. And Flygon is ground type, so it's stab. And it's a physical attacker, so it's even better. And I would say Flygon is already very strong Pokémon. But same as for Altaria, we have to make sure that it does not get hit by Ice-type moves, because that will deal quadruple damage. Still no Psychic. So I completely forgot on which platform we are, let's see. 45? 46 already, okay, good. So we're approaching halfway. Hmm, not sure what I want to do here. I think I'm gonna use a return on Natu. And a stomp on Kadabra. Or, no, bite on Kadabra. Or return on Kadabra. I could finish off first of all. Yeah, let's finish off Kadabra first. If anything kills Kadabra first, it will go on Natu anyway. Oh no, it won't because she has one more Pokemon. Doesn't matter though. They will all die. They will all die. Okay, that's bad, because that, will, that won't deal super effective damage. Because it's half fighting type. And dark type against fighting type is... weak. But that doesn't matter. Because now we can use Psybeam on Medicham and Bite on Natu. This should kill. And the next battle should make Entei level 46. Unless there's only two very, very low Pokemon, but I don't think so.
Last three battles in this area. Yo, Lombre. We haven't seen one of these in a long time. Kappa. So let me think about this. Um, let me use a Psy Beam on Love Disc and a Fire Blast on Lombre. It lives on one HP, apparently. That does not live though. Okay, Tentacruel is no problem. That goes down to Psybeam. That shouldn't be that big of a deal. Why don't you attack Entei? That would be super effective. But okay. Sometimes the trainer AI in this game is very ridiculous, but sometimes it's very annoying. Now Stomp and Psy Beam on Cedra, and we're done. Psy Beam, Stomp. And then we have the next leader. Celio and Houndour. Okay, we have to get rid of Houndour first. And we have to get rid of both of them. That's actually not a good setup, but uh, let's use Return on Houndour, Stomp on Houndour. Kill them off one at a time. Okay, let's see what comes in then. Who eats the stomp of Ante? Who will do that? Spinda. Okay, that's good. I want to kill off Spinda quickly before it uses any uh, confusing attacks. Yo, that was good. Rip Spinda. That's fine. No, wait a second. Uh, Psy Beam... Yeah, stop. Not quite sure if Celio is stronger in special or physical defense, but I would say it's physical. If it was special, I think this wouldn't have dealt that much damage. Area leader number five. Let's see. Area five, the last in Mount Battle's first half, and here the closer is me. Sentin. Okay, hit me, Sentin. Show me what you got. Beauty fly and swallow. That's the first beauty fly we see, by the way. I think I'll let that live. I'm gonna kill off swallow first. Oh, stop. Psy beam on that one. I hope Entei is faster. I'm actually scared to use his fly. 
Oh, did I use that? Oh, crap. I thought I used that on Swellow. My bad. Masquerain. Intimidate, okay. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. That is Swellow down, I think. trying to learn Psychic. Yes. For Confusion. Nice. Very good. Very good. Now Espion is a, a real sweeper. Psychic deals so much damage. Psybeam is barely stronger than Confusion, but this is very strong now. Let's use it on Golbat. Just because, why not? Saibin would kill it either way, but let's just do it. And stomp on Masquerade. Just for good measure, rip Golbat. So these battles give so much experience, that's really worth it. Um, I'm actually not quite sure which of them I like the most. Um, I mean, right now, I don't think I like Entei the best because it only knows a very inaccurate fire type move, which is uh, Fire Blast. I think I like Raikou the best. Then Suicune and then Entei. Can we do Psychic Stomp on Pilipper? The only reason that I used him right now was just for leveling him up a little bit. Because when I purified Raikou, um, he gained 6 levels, so he was 46 already. Suicune just reached 47, so I could switch him out too. So now my lowest Pokemon is actually Flygon, I think, and Meganium. I think Meganium is 46 already, I don't remember. Psychic Storm. Uh, to be honest, I never used the Legendary Dogs as much, neither in this game nor in my normal playthroughs of other Pokemon games, because, I mean, they're legendaries after all, you don't get them in every game, but... Especially in Gen 2, I was never able to catch them. I think if even I got one of them, but that was pretty much it. I don't remember which one that was. Let's see how many we get now. 800? Yeah. Do we want to go on? I think I'm going to stop here. That was half the way. Next time you can start a new challenge from the next area, or from any area you've already cleared. Oh, that's cool. That's actually pretty nice. I thought you could only start like from where you um, stopped, or from completely new, so from platform 1. But for our practice reasons, that's actually pretty good that we can start from any area we have already cleared, because that means we can skip the ones that give very low experience and go already to the ones that give more exchange so fires an icy cold beam that may freeze the target that's ice beam tm24 powerful electric attack that may cause paralysis tm24 is that i think that's thunderbolt isn't it that would be very good on raikou actually this is psychic TM35. That's Flamethrower, I think. Left. Wow, actually pretty good prizes here. But they're super expensive. 
I mean, the, the only thing we could afford right now is this one, but this is garbage. Okay, though. Let's have a quick look. Pokemon. Raikou, yeah. Flagon is my lowest Pokemon right now. But that was actually quite worth it. Like, we gained some levels on quite a few Pokemon. Let's try out this combination in the place we are supposed to go to, but let's save before. Good. So, the location we're supposed to go to right now is the tower, which is finished already with a Colosseum on top. What's the name of that? Uh, Real Gam Tower. That's what it was. I only know the German name of it, and it's Larga Tower. I think. Alright, so this is, I think, kind of a, um, a maze, or we have, we have different directions to go to. Now I remember correctly, we will meet the Cypher Admins again. Yeah. There we go. This is already Mirror B. Um, I'm not quite sure if he uses the same Pokemon as before. I assume he kinda does, so... Let's go for this combination. You've kept me hanging around, Avenor. You ruined things and parried for us. But, you know, we're not about to lose over and over to you. This time I'll win, and I mean it this time. Let the music play. Oh, never mind that. We'll battle right away. Okay, no Mirror B music this time. Okay, he has new Pokemon. Still good that we switched over to Raikou because it's water type. What we see there? Golduck? No, Psyduck, sorry. Golduck. Psyduck. Isn't it Psyduck? Golduck. It is Golduck, okay. Um... I mean, yeah, let's go for a Thunder here. And Psychic on Laudrid. Wow. Psybeam wouldn't have even come close to killing it, I'm pretty sure. So that's one Pokemon down. Oh, there we go. Ludicolo. Please hit. Okay. Rip Golduck. Next. Ludicolo. Alright. So, um, one of them will use Rain Dance, I'm pretty sure, so that means Thunder will always hit. I'm gonna go on this one, and also Psychic on this one. Oh wait, I'm gonna go first, so no Rain Dance. It doesn't matter though. Oh wow, he resisted that. Missed, okay. Okay, now he's going for Rain Dance. The damaged one will heal up a little bit. Did they both use it? Okay, so waste the turns for him. He will heal up. Yeah, because he has... the ability. Okay, so let's try this again. This should... Hyper Potion, okay. That's good that he used the Hyper Potion. Why is he going first? Does he have water tempo? To be faster in rain? Interesting, actually. Good. They will both heal up a little- uh, one of them will heal up a little bit. Yeah, the other one must have a uh, water tempo then. So, thunder... Let's use Thunder on this one, and Psychic on this one, so they should both be dead. Unless this crits. Of course it does. But one of them is dead, actually. 
Um, let's give him a taste of this. We can send in Entei or um, Flygon because I don't want to eat any water type moves with him. Sudo Voodoo. Level 35. Oh yeah, that was his uh, Shadow Pokemon. I wonder what he would have if we caught that the first time. Would he have a new one? Or would he only have four Pokemon then? I'm curious. Okay. Um, let's use Aurora Beam on Ludicolo and Psychic on Ludicolo. Aurora Beam should kill it. Yeah, good. So let's try to catch Pseudo Voodoo. The question is, what can I do to not kill it? <laughs> Level 35. It's actually not that strong. I can't do any water type moves because it's raining and they will just wreck it. So anything that is super effective will just kill it right away. So we'll do any psychic type move. I could use a return from Espion and try to get it that way. I think that makes the most sense because... It won't be super effective. Let's try this. If it dies, who cares? Okay, that's that's good. If he helps me using Shadow Rush, then we'll get there. Oh wow. Well. It deals quite a bit of damage. So, items, let's heal. Espion. Espion, return. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. Slowly but steadily, we're getting there. Let's just try our luck here. Maybe we get really lucky. I have to think about buying new balls before I proceed any further here. Sweet. Got it. I mean, we will see what Pokemon... Uh, no, no, we won't see what Pokemon the others have. The other Cypher admins have because we already caught their Pokemon, so... I'm pretty sure they will use new teams either way. He gives us something, a red ID badge. Think of it as a little gift from our great leader Nesgore. Don't leave without it because you'll get nowhere. But you know, maybe it'd be for your own good if you didn't go on. Do we need these badges to proceed in this tower? Is that it? I don't remember. Is there somewhere place to heal oh yeah what are you up to oh we're having trouble are we perhaps you're lost in the expense of this building yes oh then i shall be happy to take you where am i going to take you well since you ask you deserve a reply oh um hmm. i would like i should have healed first Dust Docks and Grimer. Maybe these rebattles against the Cypher Admins are the reason why I thought that Professor Aiden would actually use Electric type Pokemon. Maybe this was the battle I had in mind when he was using Electric type Pokemon. So. Yeah. Um, let's get rid of Grimer. And get rid of. 
that stocks with mm. now you know what screw this psychic earthquake rip espion I actually want to know how much damage that deals to Aspion. Send in another poison type. Please, no coughing. No coughing. It's a Viper. Perfect. Coughing would have levitate, so... That should kill both of them. Oh, wow. Rip Aspion. <laughs> That's not a good idea to use that when Aspion is already low. But yeah, that's the Viper, and that's all the experience for flying on them. Rip. Wow. <laughs> I also, I think I gave him Soft Sand, if I'm not mistaken. So, Earthquake deals even more damage. I'm not sure if he has Soft Sand or the Dragon uh, Enhancing Item. Let's see. Okay, um, he has Dragon Fang. Okay, so there wasn't even a Soft Sand. But I think... Hmm, do I want to use the Soft Sand on him? I think I have one. I do. Hmm. Hmm. No, let's keep it that way. It's fine. Earthquake already deals enough damage, so... Oh, no, no, not, not exit. I wanted to save. So I assume... We have one more way to go. That was the right pipe thing, if you like. Right here, let's see. Takim. Okay, so I have no idea what he is using. Let's go with Suikyun in case he's going for ground, fire, or rock type Pokemon again. And uh, Meganium, maybe. That's kind of a defensive strategy. Let's do it this way. Just try it. Your luck ran out when you showed up before me. Your step at adventure has gone on long enough. So he caught his Pokemon, so he might have five normals or four normals and one new Shadow Pokemon. I'm curious. Whiskash. I should have used Meganium. Yeah. I'm actually scared of earthquakes. I really am. Let's see. Um, Surf Psychic on Whiskash. Protect. I hate you so much. He's going for the same strategy again. But Surf will hit Claydol. Yeah. There we go, Earthquake. He's going for the same strategy again as on Mount Battle. So now the other one will use Protect. In that case, we'll use an Aurora Beam. And let's use Surf again, it doesn't matter. And Psychic on Whiskash. So that should be dead. We could also use a Reflect to be sure no more Earthquakes will hit us, but I'll use that next turn, I think. Okay, no Protect. That's interesting. Surf might kill it, though. I hope it does. No. I hope they don't use Earthquake. Not both of them. Sunny day. Okay. Wow. Yeah, 
Levitate, Levitate. Now Whiskash is... Okay, he didn't even need a Protect because he has Levitate. Now Whiskash is going to use Protect again, so... I'm gonna use Surf and set up a Reflect. Even though I should be healing. Wait a second. Um, Whiskash is Protecting. Claydol will use an Earthquake, but he will die before, so I have time. Set up a Reflect. But apparently, we don't get any earthquakes, so they both go down. Oh no! Crap. He survived that. I thought they would kill him if he didn't use protect. Shit. So, that's Espion down, I think. Oh, shit. Hmm. Okay, Suikyun lives. Now I have to make sure that I heal up Suikyun because I need the ice type attacks on Flygon. I really do. Um, let's bring in... Meganium, I think? Yeah. If he's going in for more ground types, then Meganium is a good choice. Sunlight is strong. So, um, Aurora Beam, or we could use Blizzard. Yeah, let's go for a Blizzard and use... With a bit of luck, that damages both and kills at least one of them. And use a Hyper Potion on Suikyun. Okay, so let's go. Blizzard, hit both of them. Okay, it hits one. Should be Whiskash. Yeah, his Whiskash is down. Good. No more Earthquakes from Whiskash. Avoid it. Okay, that's not too bad. That's fine. We can use Aurora Beam next turn. Fortress I'm not too scared of. Fortress is very low. That will deal though. That will deal damage. Especially in the sun. But since it's sunny day. I can be a very mean ass and just use Aurora Beam on Flygon and use Synthesis. I hope I, I will go first, which I doubt. Flygon is fast. Please be frozen. Crap. That's Meganium down. Yeah. Should have used a potion there. That's fine though, because now I can bring in Entei, so it's not too bad, and get rid of Fortress. Because a Fire Blast will make Fortress be gone very quickly, if I live this. I, I should live this, I have a Reflect up and that is no stab, so yeah. So this time Aurora Beam on Flygon and Fire Blast on Fortress. Oh, I hate you. But that means it doesn't use Earthquake, so that's, this is fine. This is totally fine. Okay, Flygon down. Let's see what else we got here. He has one more Pokemon. Houndoom. That is, subsi that is a Shadow Pokemon. Oh, it's not. I thought it was. Because I know Houndoom is actually Shadow Pokemon at some place in this game. Um, but yeah, we can use a Surf here. And Fire Blast on Fortress. And that's Fortress down. So this was... This battle was a little bit more intense than the last one. Mirror B was not that strong. Okay, you won't be any. You won't have any chance to uh, to make use of the sunlight being strong. So, doesn't really matter. Surf, stomp, rip. Alright. 
I wonder if we wouldn't have caught Entei from him if he had Entei instead of Houndu. I think he would have. Because it was it would be the fire type Pokemon, like all his other Pokemon were ground type, so yeah. Instead of no Fortress wasn't. Fortress is steel bug, but anyway. In all the time I've been battling, my only losses came at the hands of Master Nascor and you. Now take this, it's your passport of true terror and despair. Green ID badge, I think that means. If you're thinking of turning back, now's the time to do it. Go on home to mommy. No. Okay, we cleared both of these. So we have Professor Ain and Venus left to beat. Save real quick. I think I'm gonna go for one more fight. If they appear soon. Let's see. Looking to get past this door? Yes. <laughs> oh, I should have thought about switching my Pokemon. Flora is a shadow Pokemon, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much we could do here, so Ice uh, Aurora Beam and Psychic on Gloom. That would be Gloom down. Okay, one more Aurora Beam on Sunflora and I should be able to catch it. Oh, I should be fast with catching it. Aurora Beam on Sunflora and Psychic on Jumpluff. Aurora Beam on Jumpluff would have killed it, but I... I like the damage better on Sunflora. Because I'm pretty sure Psychic would have killed Sunflora. Don't use Shadow Rush. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure Sunflora will go for a Solar Beam. It has a growth, yeah, and in Sun it doesn't need to charge for it. That will hurt. Yeah. That was... That was so obvious. It was so obvious. Um, so let's try to resist it. Hope I can catch it. Meganium, go for a Ultra Ball on Sunflora and a return on Jump Love, so it should be dead. Good, got it. Synthesis, okay. Yeah, that heals more because it's sunny. I should have used Psychic. I actually didn't know that Jumpluff knows Synthesis. It might use that again, so... You know what? 
I'm gonna heal soon anyway, so it doesn't really matter what I use here. Okay, this time it died. Pretty sure behind this way there is uh, one of the cipher admins. Let's check. Yeah, it's a dead end, so there will be an admin. It's Venus. Okay, but I don't want to fight Venus when my Suicune is down. Let's fight the other peon here. Let's try our strategy. I'm curious if that works. Just watch him use flying type Pokemon now. Oh, didn't mean to press B there. And I'm pretty sure he, this way will lead to another crossroads. Or like the room where we need to show the badges or something. Yeah, one of them is flying type actually. Earthquake will not be as useful now. Oh, Deli Bird is... Should I have Pokemon? Um, okay, so let's see what we can do here. Let's go for... We need to get rid of Piloswine, actually, and that really quickly, because that might know Blizzard, and Blizzard would hurt. So let's go for Earthquake and a Body Slam. Deli Bird only knows this one move that I don't know the name of. Oh, nice, that deals so low damage. Even the th Synthesis in the rain might heal that off. That was a critical. Rip Swine. What else? Glally. Does he have Levitate? I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, let's use Dragon. Let's use Earthquake again. And Body Slam on Gladly. I can't hit Deadly Bird anyway because it flew up high. Okay, if. This should be Gladly down. I hope Meganium deals enough damage. Okay. Sweet. Now I can focus on Deadly Bird. On Meganium. I'm gonna use... A Dragon Breath. Hopefully paralyzing it. And Meganium can use a Synthesis. Ah, that's... Hmm. I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I'm gonna use an Earthquake. No, actually... I'm gonna use a Crunch on Deadly Bird. It will miss because I'm gonna go first anyway. And then use Synthesis. No, light, just Light Screen because why not? And next turn I will use a Razor Leaf on Deadly Bird. And that should not kill, hopefully. So, Flygon... Oh, um, okay. He or Didn't he deal da damage? Did he miss or something? It's weird. Let's try an Ultra Ball here. Because I really have to. I don't have any non-damaging moves with Flygon. I could switch it out, but I don't want to. Let's just try our luck. Maybe we get really lucky and catch it right away. Okay, not quite. But the Razor Leaf will damage it a little bit lower. I hope it doesn't die. It will not be effective. It will... Okay, crap. I expected it to deal way less damage. That's okay, though.
So let's check. There should be Professor A in here. And the door. Yeah, we need the badges for this. We have red and green. And here should be Professor Ain. Like, up here. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so next time I'm gonna take out these two, Venus and Professor Ain. And, um... Then we have our four badges and can access this door right here and proceed further into the tower. For now we'll go back though, heal my Pokemon and then save. my Pokemon. Also there's a picture of a Rosalia. I didn't even notice that before. It's beautiful. And then save. Alright. I'm done for now. Thank you very